Congress, not the SEC, should set U.S. digital asset policy the regulator sees itself as the arbiter of which technologies should exist in the United States, says Castle Island Ventures' Matt Walsh. By Matt Walsh Org 7, 2023 at 3.08 p.m. Matt be Matt Walsh Org 7, 2023 at 3.08 p.m. Matt be Matt Walsh Org 7. 2023 at 3.08 p.m. Mark the blockchain industry has attracted more than its fair share of scammers and fraudsters. The past two years have been especially painful as the collapses of Luna, Three Arrows Capital and FTX have brought the industry to its knees. Thankfully those of us with a long-term vision finally have a market structure bill from Congress to look forward to. However, this progress is being threatened by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC which is running a covert demolition job on the industry to protect its turf and advance the political aspirations of the current chairman. Matt Walsh is a founding partner of Castle Island Ventures, a venture capital firm that invests in blockchain technology companies. Prior to founding Castle Island Ventures he worked at Fidelity Investments, where he led a number of the firm's blockchain projects. The SEC's three-part mandate is to 1. Protect investors, 2. Maintain fair, orderly and efficient markets and 3. Facilitate capital formation. The SEC is supposed to be a disclosure-based regulator that is technology neutral, meaning they establish a framework for issuers to divulge pertinent information to investors, but do not unilaterally take a stance on which technologies ought to make it follow the URL for the full article. For more on this story, visit the news article link.